Hey there, I'm Lori. Today is Wellness Wednesday. Normally on Wednesdays, I would have a new workout for you or some sort of movement where we move our bodies together. But today I'm feeling a little bit crampy and I don't really want to move my body too much. So instead, <laughs> I have these mindfulness cards. So these cards are very cool. I opened this today <laughs> for the first time. I've had it for a few weeks but I want to do this with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a blue, a red, a yellow, and a green card. And then I'm going to read them out to you and we're going to learn a little bit about mindfulness, which is very important to all of us. Whether you think about your mindfulness or not, being aware of mindfulness is a part of wellness, your overall wellness. So. Let's do this together. So I'm going to pick a blue card. Feel the ground. I'm going to pull a red card. Mindfulness everywhere. I'm going to pull a yellow card. Meet the difficult. Ooh. And a green card noticed strangers. So I'm going to try and put these all in like a little circle. Okay. So these are the cards that I pulled. What did I pull first? Doesn't matter. Let's do mindfulness everywhere. Notice strangers. Feel the ground. Meet the difficult. So Let's read these cards together and find out how they all go together for your mental health. So let's read these out loud together. On the backs are important information about, about each of these. Mindfulness everywhere. The key to making mindfulness a part of our everyday lives is realizing that wherever we are has the potential to be a meditation space, a desk at work, a crowded bus, an airplane seat, or beneath a beautiful tree. Whether it's using the physical experience of traveling to help grow body awareness or the people around us as a cue to practice kindness. Every situation and environment can be used in support of cultivating mindfulness in daily life. Try selecting a favorite card from the deck and see how you can practice the exercise in a range of different places and situations. Well, we pulled some cards. So... Notice strangers. Let's see what this card has to say. Making an effort to pay attention to people we don't ordinarily notice in our daily lives can help us avoid getting caught up in our own personal dramas. Next time you come across someone you don't know, whether it's during a morning commute, on a trip, or even in your own workplace, take a moment to really notice how they are. Resist the urge to create a story about them. Instead, just take a small moment to connect with them through eye contact, a smile, or a hello. See them as they are, as real human beings rather than as anonymous extras passing through a movie about your life. That is really cool. I think it's really easy for people to make assumptions about others. And really, if you're just seeing somebody for a split second or whatever, you know nothing about what their lives are like. So really try not to make assumptions of people, acknowledge their existence, and then see how that helps you in your own life. Feel the ground. Just like the breath, our connection to the earth is always available to us. By simply paying attention to the feeling of our feet, we can literally ground ourselves at any time. Practice this in different circumstances and in different places so that when you're facing difficult moments in the future, you have an always accessible tool to bring yourself back to the present moment. Now, I don't know if you've ever done grounding before, but it is really cool. It is something that like connects you to the earth and in that moment, as you're connecting to the earth, nothing else matters. So if you've never done grounding before, it's super easy. 
you go outside, you take your shoes off, you just stand in the grass on dirt or whatever, in water, whatever you can, and you just feel the earth. Sometimes um, what I will do is I will hold on or touch a tree, <laughs> say it's like cold or it's wet and I don't really want to take my shoes off. I can find a tree that is giving off some cool energy to me and I'll just touch it with my hand. And there's something powerful in those moments. If you've never done it, go touch a tree. <laughs> okay, last card. Meet the difficult. Ooh, this one makes me nervous. It may seem counterintuitive to pay attention to uncomfortable sensations, but doing so can be liberating. Our natural first reaction when we feel something uncomfortable, like muscle tension or a slight headache or a difficult emotion, is to get rid of it immediately, either by moving our attention elsewhere or by trying to fix the problem. But when we decide to meet the uncomfortable area in an open, relaxed way, we can build our composure and even find that what we thought was uncomfortable becomes totally tolerable. Next time a twinge of discomfort arises, try giving it two minutes of your unjudgmental awareness. Just sit with it, noticing the sensation and breathing through it. Please only do this when it feels safe and never intentionally create difficult situations for this exercise. So this is very like insightful and will bring awareness to yourself. So, um, <clears throat> I liked this part here. When we decide to meet the uncomfortable area in an open, relaxed way, we can build our composure and even find that what we thought was uncomfortable becomes totally tolerable. So I myself have gone through a lot of difficult situations in my life from being a young child all the way up until, you know, now. <laughs> There's been so many things and I've learned that when you don't just brush something under the rug, you really feel the emotions and you live through those emotions, it does make you stronger. And even in those moments where you're like, how am I going to get past this? How am I going to get over this or whatever? Breathe. Just keep breathing. Sometimes that's just the reminder we need, right? Uh, another reminder you might need is subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I didn't know how else to segue that from this, but I am here to be your hype person. Even when I myself am not feeling super peppy, I am here for you. And I'm so grateful that you're here with me. And I just want to say that I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day or night or whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.